and uh, here we are. We're jumping in. Okay. Alright, we do Carol Khan, Hop and Scotch, and for a penny, and for a pound. <coughs> <coughs> you know, I almost got made it in one move. <laughs> if, oh, you guys see that? If I, uh, well, we'll look, we'll look at it after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here, if I go here, then there's made in one move here, because I can't check the smothered mate. Absolutely incredible. What is this going on? Bishop E7 is fine. Actually, take here, here. If he takes, wait. There's something funny. If I go check, he has b4, right? Then, then the queen e5. Wait, wait. This is so interesting, though. Why do I feel like this is good? Maybe because it is. Yeah, b4, queen e5. So six, dark, oozing dark. And if c3, then we have knight takes. <coughs> and a b4, queen e5 check. Very symbolic, guys. Very symbolic. Very symbolic. It's um. It's because. <coughs> because um. Uh, <coughs> because we have more dark money, right? Is that right? Wait, do we have more dark money? Yeah, we traded. The bishop takes f3. We give up the light square bishop for a knight. The knight is light and dark. The bishop is only light. So giving up a thousand light, yeah? A thousand light for 500, 500. Which means we lose some light, we gain some dark. And uh, this is pretty cool. And now queen e5 check. And then we, we win. We just win, right? Hold on. I'll make sure no, no, no hanky panky here. Do we go knight d5? Actually, knight david 5 is really good. Why not? Okay. Rook here, we have maiden 2. This is so sick. This is so, so sick. Oh my god, this is just so dirty. So dirty. Dirty! Dirty! How are you going to be zoned like that? So rude. Made in one. Next move, mate. This is a game in 15 moves. Here we are, guys. Here we are. I'll tell you this much. Here we are. Here we are. Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? In for a penny? In for a pound. You know what I'm saying. So. <coughs> Yeah, yeah, let's let's see it as as it played out how the colors work. Bishop g4, e6. So far so good. Color imbalance. So he's like hitting on on the knight, but you're not really going to get anything going here. It's just all it does is help help us develop. And more to the point, there are some issues where the bishop is un unprotected. That, that 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 becomes an issue. So he goes here. It looks fine, but the problem is <coughs> that simply knight takes. Now at this point. What's the color money? The color money is what I like to say. It, 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 it's you know, often in a position. The classic in the books will say white has the bishop here, black is solid and has the ex a knight, and uh, the light square bishop is somewhat uh, lack of potential right now. Okay, well, fair, fair. But there's more to it. There's more to the story. <coughs> What's more to the story is that there's a concrete color money value. Involved. A light bishop is a thousand of its color. A dark bishop is a thousand of its color. 
two colors, two boards, two battles going up side by side. Light board, dark board. Light currency is dark currency. Light square bishop is worth a thousand of its color. A light, zero dark. A knight is 500 light, 500 dark. So right now, the imbalance, the, both sides have equal material, but it's not, that's not the whole story. It's basically the imbalance is knight versus a light square bishop. Okay. It means white's ahead on light, black's ahead on dark. Now, it may look, say, oh, okay, what do you mean ahead on dark? What is that? Well, the knight could attack dark, and, and better put, like, if, 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 let's say we try to attack the, 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 the D4 square with all our pieces, and white tries to defend with all his pieces, uh, he's going to be at a deficit. The light square bishop does not play. <coughs> so, that's why there's, like, that's why I realized that knight takes, now my first, I, I, I was considering, uh, maybe I, if I wasn't feeling inspired, I might, I might have just taken certainly good and fine but but actually there's an interesting thing where queen a5 check and he's weak on the dark squares okay it's a lot of dark square problems not to mention he had his pawn is on light weakening the dark uh and if he has gone pawn in the game he pushed he can't block with the bishop if he goes here it's literally made in one on dark not a coincidence if he goes here then it's a kind of cool idea queen here well, his bishop is still attacked. If he takes a knight, we take his rook with check. If he moves the bishop away, well, we're actually still taking the rook with check. If the rook moves... Okay, let's say the rook moves. Honestly, it's, it's actually fascinating. This is mate. I could also move the knight somewhere and win that way, but check, and then wherever he goes, it's mate. It's, it's, it's really incredible. D4 is probably the move he had to do. And then, and then we take, and then rook D1... <clears throat> Actually, this is really interesting. I wonder about taking some desperado sequence. We take. He doesn't take because we take. So instead, he goes check. We go here. And now he's losing anyway. Wow. Incredible. I'm curious to check the computer. This is yeah. yeah the check the computer. Bishop takes f3. And now knight takes c4 is, is winning. Completely winning. Yeah. Queen a5 check. B4, uh, C3 is losing as well after the game. B4, Queen E5, D4 only move. <coughs> queen takes. Oh, we can also go back to E5. Uh -huh. Okay. Really? What am I missing? Here, here, here. Just G6? Oh my god. Oh, this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. The Rook is attacked, and wherever the rook goes, discover check wins. This is the sickest thing ever. If the rook takes, we have discover check and win the rook. If he goes here, discover check. If he goes here, we have discover check. I mean, this just happened in the game. I didn't find this in a book. Or this, this is magic. Sometimes you get these things, just magic happens. Both the game was magic and the possibilities were magic. My goodness. Okay, anyways. Queen takes f2 is working like we saw. Take, take. He has to take. And king takes up two pawns. <coughs> yeah. Really cool. In the game, he... he uh... No, that's not the game. But hold on. In the game, he played here, here, here. I took. Check. 95 best move. And then made in two. Yeah. Yeah. It's kinda kinda interesting how to uh play it. We had three thousand fifty it says we played. Oh we had ninety nine point guys, ninety nine point five percent. Oh my goodness.